succeed and grow rich through persuasion. Napoleon Hill and E. Harold Kim. Positive mental attitude. Really, um, I go back and I reread things. This one's getting really, really crispy and hard from because it's getting old. But moving towards your goal, going the extra mile, enthusiasm, believe in yourself. Whatever the mind of man, slash woman, can achieve and believe, or can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Thus, faith in a personal God is essential. Control and direction of your emotions. Seven positive emotions. Seven, seven negative emotions. Learn to transmute adversity into a benefit. Follow the habit of prayer. Prayers of gratitude for the blessings you now have. Freedom. Loyalty. The power to transmute adversity. The power to forgive. Control your emotions. I mean, look at the positives in this. This is an amazing book. This is really... Helped me get started in my youth, probably around age 20. Dignity, achievement. I really like the first steps of the ladder. You know, I know that going through things sometimes people are like, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. But you know what? I paid for the book. And right now, I think people need a little bit of my sharing. Love is the greatest motivator of all. I don't read all of this. I just go back and read my notes. So I guess I'm sharing my notes with you. Wow. Every man has a philosophy. When asked to divine his, this was his answer. First, God is always a good God. Second, truth is always will be truth, regardless of lack of understanding, disbelief, or ignorance. Third, man is a product of his heredity, environment, physical body, conscious and subconscious mind, experience, and particular position and direction in time and space, and something more including powers known and unknown. He has the power to affect, use, control, or harmonize with all of them. Fourth, man was created in the image of God, and he has the God-given ability to direct his thoughts, control his emotions, and ordain his destiny. Fifth, religious faith is a dynamic, living, growing experience. Its universal principles are simple and enduring. For example, the Golden Rule. Go unto others as you would have others do unto you. It's simple in its concept, enduring and universal in its application, but it must be applied to become alive. Sixth, I believe in prayer and the miraculous power of prayer. Sharing success. Whoa. When you share with others a part of what you have, that which remains multiplies and grows. Avoid mental, how to avoid mental illness and maintain good mental health. To seek divine guidance and do the right thing because it is right. The principles to be found in this book, memorize the principles and apply them. Hmm. I'm not going to go through all of this, just things that I found were creating faith. Your self-knowledge, the degree of your comprehension of your own powers, physical, intellectual, and spiritual, and dis the discipline with which you employ those powers is a key to a satisfying, useful, and profitable life. Faith that will work. Faith has always been one of my strong goals in my life. Fundamental faith. Well, let's see what his fundamentals are. Definite of purpose, supported by personal initiative or action. Two, positive mental attitudes, from which all negatives, such as fear, envy, hatred, jealousy, and greed, are removed. A mastermind alliance with one or more people who will 
Radiate courage based on faith in who are suited mentally and spiritually to your needs. Recognition of the fact that every adversity carries with it the seed of an equivalent benefit. There's no such thing as failure until you have accepted. Well, there's no such thing as failure until you have accepted it as such. May temporary defeats often turn out to be blessings in disguise, a stepping stone toward wisdom for great achievement. The habit of affirming your major definiteness of purpose in the form of a prayer at least once daily and thanking your creator for having granted you the you of your goal, the object of your major purpose, even before you start to attain it. If you begin with an open mind and start affirming your purpose in prayer right away, such a tremendous change will take place in your relationship with people and your relationship with yourself, your attitude toward yourself, and you'll wonder why you didn't do this a long time ago. All sincere prayer works. Okay. You must have faith in our Creator. Know thyself. It is next premise upon which this philosophy is based. We must recognize the individual is a minute expression of the creator of all things, and as such we have no limitations except those accepted in our own minds. Recognize as human beings that we are the only creatures on earth who can appropriate the power of the mind and direct to its end our own choice. It's kind of neat. I really liked reading this. I'm going to skip a few parts. Um... Careful inventory of one's past defeats and adversities, self-respect, recognition of the importance of your industry. Mankind is necessary in order for your occupation to become a labor of love. Faith is a pre prerequisite to positive power. It gives self-understanding through the eyes of the honestly ready heart. It gives perspective, accurate analysis, and ability to forge ahead. There is no substitute for honest self-evaluation and faith. So my faith is probably one of the first things I started with as a young person. Okay, we're going on. The persuasive personality. Start with a positive mental attitude. Consider frankness in manner and speech. Well-developed sense of humor. I could probably handle a little more of sense of humor. Justice. Intentional honesty. Need for control. Whoa, controlling your emotions. A uh, person who wishes to develop an attractive persona must constantly control not only his words and deeds, but of course his thoughts as well. A genuine fondness for people is a great asset. Here we go on. Further personality qualities. Mastering emotions. A lot of things to learn through this book. I really enjoyed this book. Use imagination, enthusiasm, a pleasing personality, a keen appreciation for the benefits of masterminding, cooperation, and faith. I really like the way um, Mr. Trump is getting the world to work together right now. I know people try to find faults, but that's their own problem. <laughs> Self-satisfaction, revenge, help another to experience these things. Whoops. Wow. I don't know. The law of compensation this year is not cool. But you're going to run into people like that. Bad beginning. Wow. Tells about other people in their lives. But anyway, that's kind of something I started with years ago. And thought maybe you'd like a little bit of an insight into that book.